So let's say you have like a 1500 square foot travertine highly vesicled floor that they like, but there's a little bit of lippage, meaning an offset, which is human error and also sometimes the function of the subfloor that it's sitting on, the concrete, or maybe even the tile itself. Um, no tiler is perfect. You're going to have some. But anyway, see so you have one or two places in an entire 1,500 square foot floor. You don't want to hone down the entire floor um, just to reduce the lippage in one or two areas. That's cost prohibitive and the clients get angry and all that other stuff. So you've been there. Just get a set of these diamond, um, diamond grit needle files, okay? I'll just illustrate to you here. This one happens to be flat, but it has diamonds on all four sides. So, let's just assume that there's two tiles together, and this is the line of lippage, and this is the high spot. So all you do is, if you're an artist or a craftsman, you could very easily come in there and file it down without digging too hard taking too much off where it ends up looking like a line. Okay, so you got the point. Anyway, it's coming all different types. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, diamond grit needle file set or Harbor Freight, whatever. Long story short, after you've done that and you feel like you've got most of the lippage down, at least enough that makes sense, considering your budget and the whole floor overall, then you proceed with your um, your um, travertine polishing cycles. I like to start at 800 grit um, pads, diamond pads. I like to use a burnisher. Some pads allow you to use a floor maintainer, which is 175 RPM versus the burnisher, which is, I don't know, 15,000 RPMs. But anyway, it started at 800. Just to remove most of the scratches. This is a sample, as you can see, the, um, it's kind of dull. It was polished. But anyway, run the 800, see what that looks like in a test area. If that didn't get the scratches or whatever out, then do the 400. But remember what you do at one area you have to do to the whole floor. So I start at 800 generally. Maybe you even use a 7 inch pad, diamond pad, on a 7 inch polishing grinder. Um, in a corner just to see how that happened how that behaves um, anyway then I go up to 1500 and maybe 3000 I the higher you go up in the polishing world the more maintenance and the easier the floor is to scratch but anyway so we'd probably go 800 and uh, I think this is gonna be an 800 then a 1500, I'm going to stop there because they don't want it too shiny. And to me, that's going to create all kinds of problems with future maintenance. Then we'd seal it with a bulletproof penetrating sealer. Um, and then, um, depending on what's going here, I might actually um, go over, over it one more time with a 1500 grit sign. Um, 1500 grit burnisher pad, and then I might reseal it. So that's what I do. But anyway, just make sure that your travertine floor is clean as a bell. Before you do any of this crap, you should mop it with a neutral cleaner. Um, a lot of these travertine people like the vesicles. A vesicle is a geologic term for these little divots. Um, they like to keep them. Some people fill them in. But if you wet grind, by the way, and um, wet burnish, wet these floor maintainer with a wet pad, these will all get filled up with crap and you're going to have a nightmare. So generally speaking, I try to get the pads that are mostly dry graining and we just use light fogging sprayers to just get enough wetness on there to keep the thing fluent. Not a lot of water, just a mist. I have two guys, one guy grinding or polishing, I should say, and the other one doing that. That's pretty much it. But anyway, the summary is these little files here might be a solution to the problem. And then once you do the 800 grit, or 400, depending on your, what your situation is, how jacked up the tile travertine is, um, this should just gradually disappear um, over time, over as you increase your iterations. 
But um, in some cases, you may have to fill it in with the grout that the guy put in, the tiler put in. In this case, it was butt to butt, and the tile, the grout line was so small that um, if you ask me in seismic country, like we live in Southern California, that's not a good idea. But anyway, whatever. Okay, that's it.